Hello everyone, welcome to part 17 of my Civilization V game. Uh, it's getting uh, pretty close to the end game here uh, with uh, uh, the uh, United Nations underway and uh, getting close to uh, uh, influential uh, with uh, some civilizations. Uh, so that means the game is actually getting pretty close to a victory of some kind. Um, it looks like a culture victory is going to happen before a uh, Uh, before uh, science or uh, diplomatic victory is possible. Uh, and that's a pretty common situation, actually, uh, since the cultural uh, victory is relatively easy to achieve on the normal difficulty levels. So I'm just working on the uh, land around my uh, cities here. Um, anyone who's been uh, watching will uh, notice that I do this pretty algorithmically. Um, and basically, um, uh, I just build a particular improvement uh, based on the base terrain type. Uh, it actually uh, works pretty well, um, certainly at uh, this level of uh, difficulty. As noted in previous uh, installments, um, I no longer do the Declaration of Friendship thing for the most part. Uh, it turns out that uh, the net benefits of it aren't really worth it at this level of play. Okay, as I recall, I was going to build a pontoon bridge there. Uh, and that just gives faster uh, movement across or around here. Um, that uh, consumes the uh, worker. Now, I don't need the worker for anything, so that's not a big loss. And you can go ahead and later build a road across that and uh, that can make a big difference. Now, the pontoon bridge is not normally available in regular games. Uh, what's made it available here is a, um, a mod. Now, I'm playing with a number of them. If you go back to uh, the start of part one, I actually go through the mods that I'm actually using. What do I want to build here? Uh, museum seems like a good idea. Um, somebody's stealing my uh, allies here. Um, but that's uh, easy enough to deal with. That's why I'm maintaining a gold reserve. 
Now by doing two gifts, that means that uh, to supplant me again, they need that much more. And uh, the AIs aren't particularly good at gold management. So, and we have managed to uh, achieve uh, the first influential culture in the game. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, we're influential with one out of ten. At the end of the previous part, I knew that was going to happen real soon. I had actually checked on that. Now, it's going to take a bit of effort to get influential with the uh, powerhouse cultures. Uh, so it's going to involve some uh, great musicians, probably, and uh, um, some uh, essentially culture bombs. Okay, so what I'm doing over here is actually improving all of the uh, resources on this coast. Uh, right. Ordinarily, you would have done it long since, but these uh, cities had good land otherwise. Ah, that's a national wonder completed. So what do I want to build here? A solar plant would be good for production. A recycling center would give me extra aluminum, but I don't really need that. So there's no need to pay the three gold maintenance for it. Um, windmill. Yeah, windmill. We'll build that. There we go. Uh, Byzantium is uh, our uh, first uh, influential. need to keep uh, re-establishing my trade routes. Uh, let's see here. There are no more tiles around that city that need uh, improving. There's no point improving a tile that's beyond three tiles from the uh, cities uh, because they can't be worked. Uh, there just is no point doing that. Unless there's a resource on it, uh, a strategic resource or a luxury resource. One of these other food resources, uh, it doesn't matter. They, they have to be worked. But uh, regular uh, luxuries and uh, strategic resources you do get the benefit if they're uh, improved anywhere within your borders. Uh, so what am I going to do with that worker? I don't really have anything to do with the worker. Uh, so I'm going to actually disband him. Doing that saves me several gold, so it's uh, well worth doing. And here's another one that is surplus. So I'm going to disband that one too. And another one. Yeah, there really is no point uh, uh, keeping, uh, keeping these uh, 
uh, workers around. It's just that many more units uh, sucking up gold and potentially requiring orders. Uh, okay, what to build here? Uh, that was a public school. Uh, a research lab seems like a good idea. Yeah, we got a war on. What I should probably do is uh, start looking at uh, getting great musicians out to uh, to get um, uh, the culture build up, the tourism build up with the strong cultures. Um, okay, we had a workboat there. We have a couple. Okay, we need one more. No, we don't. One, oh, one, two, no, that is in range. Uh, battleship. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of oil resources, so there's no reason not to build a stack of these uh, uh, battleships and so on. Uh, I can build up a pretty solid fleet. to avoid losing allies here, or I want to. Um, Vancouver wasn't us, so that's okay. I'm just going to check in here, the influence. So here's Byzantium. Uh, yeah, we're uh, looking at, okay, see Aztecs and Assyria. So, we have a uh, musician headed for the Aztecs, uh, and that will, um, uh, that will give us uh, a substantial boost when we uh, run the um, uh, concert tour. resource over there that we can improve and then I think we're done with workboats for now okay That's one more uh, worker. There's only one more uh, tile there that's worth improving. Uh, so I'm going to uh, disband that one as well. Uh, this guy can actually improve that tile. Uh, okay, we have a stadium in Seoul. Um, now what? Uh, 
I'm going to build a windmill there. And what have we done here? Research lab. Well, we'll go for a stock exchange for the gold. Globalization uh, that will have increased our delegate count in the United Nations. Um, okay, that's a workboat there. Now, there really isn't anything else to build over here. Well, an aqueduct would be good um, for additional uh, food growth. Um, that's a hill, so that gets a mine. Uh, and then the final oh, work boat goes out there. Uh, I need to redo that one. Okay, so we're doing rocketry. That'll give us rocket artillery and the Apollo program. Which we'll need to build to start the space race. Okay, so that's uh, a uh, boat there. Okay, right, I was going to uh, look at upgrading these. Uh, I got one more. Okay. Okay, we don't have anything really useful to build there, so I'll build uh, more uh, battleships. Okay, we have a hotel there, and uh, we still need one more hotel. Uh, yeah, let's get a factory going there. Uh, oh, the hotel's underway, so uh, we're good there. And we can go ahead and do a concert tour. And let's see what that's done here. That will have increased the... Uh, our um, influence with everybody to an extent uh, now um, so we got a bunch more influential so 13 turns for the Maya um, 5 turns for Polynesia 12 for Poland Okay. We'll get things rolling along here. Okay, there's one. You gotta love that uh, message. Blue jeans and pop music. Okay, we got a caravan to re 
initialize here. Okay, we got a battleship to park, a frigate to upgrade. Okay. Oh, we got a uh, social policy that we can grab. Uh, this one I actually wanted for the happiness level. So that gives us a, a boost there. Um, so we'll uh, keep on uh, going with this stuff here. Okay, so I need to get, uh, I think I need to get out a couple more uh, uh, great musicians. So let's uh, let's see how we're doing for great musicians. Um, yeah, we only have the one city where we're generating them. Um, we're gonna have a great scientist real soon now, by the look of it. Okay. Okay, that just gave us a population boost across the entire empire. Right, so that's a battleship. I'll bring it out this way for observational purposes. Uh, that, now we have a destroyer there. I'll bring that over this way. Um, obviously it won't move till next turn. Um, we've built the CN Tower there. Uh, we don't actually have anything else of any particular use to build there. Now, I've been building uh, ships, um, but I'm actually going to build um, some additional land troops. Uh, what I was looking for here... Uh, tanks. So I'm going to build tanks there. I don't actually expect I'm going to need to uh, fight anybody, but uh, I don't have anything better to do, so I might as well build uh, uh, build tanks and so on. Then, if someone does attack, I can just go and steamroll them, and uh, very quickly we'll have uh, peace again. Now, given the uh, starting location we got with just that one small land bridge linking to the rest of the continent, uh, it did pretty much uh, mean that uh, we never had to fight a war, as you hear. Uh, right, uh, that's a stock exchange there. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else there that we really need to build. Um, well, a windmill seems like it'd be okay. Um, I'm going to see, can we uh, purchase a, yeah. So we will get a great musician out. to 
Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna send the uh, send this guy off to the Aztecs again. Okay, we have an aqueduct there. Uh, nothing else terribly useful. Uh, build the stable, why not? Um, okay. Yeah, there really isn't anything to uh, that we need to build there. Uh, go for wealth. Somebody finally uh, uh, closed out uh, the uh, piety tree. Okay, I got some new units there. What did I get? Anti-aircraft gun. Okay, I gotta re-up that. Okay. So here's a, a neat uh, feature of the uh, uh, border expansion. Uh, if there's nothing adjacent in range, um, it will actually jump over things. You'll end up with an exclave like that. Oh, my golden age has ended. Oh, my. Solar plant seems reasonable there. Yeah, I guess I'll um, bulb this guy.
might as well go after that uh, barbarian. Should make short work of that uh, barbarian uh, rifleman. Oh, right. The uh, tanks can actually uh, attack and then move, uh, which is uh, useful in battles. I suppose I could send an archaeologist up here. And there we go. Uh, we can actually build the National Visitor Center. And that'll be really good in uh, Seoul, where I have all that other stuff going on. Um, I'm going to actually uh, make these C tiles more useful now. soul. I'll put it on the uh, visitor center and I'm actually going to hurry that one because it should improve this number quite a bit. Okay, we have a, another battleship. And a caravan to re, um, reset. Oh, we got a promotion there. And there we go, we've cleared the uh, barbarian. I'm going to park the tank there. Uh, that'll prevent anyone else from uh, sending an archaeologist there. Um, uh, what 
what have we, okay that was a stable um, okay I don't think we need to do anything else there I'm gonna build some uh, additional um, oh, what am I gonna build there build some infantry, I think. No, I don't need to do that. I've got the resources. Okay, now what to build here? Um... The uh, Apollo program is probably a good one. Uh, let's see. Just curious on what the city is doing here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty close to uh, full coverage there. Okay. What's our uh, state here? Everything is rising. Uh, Maya in two turns, okay. And for Poland as well. Uh, the Aztecs are down to 36 turns. Um, so Assyria is the uh, challenge right now. Okay, uh, so I made a battleship there. Um, well, I might as well build a windmill. So we're up to 400 tourism per turn. So that is, uh, that's that for the worker stuff, I think. Now park that guy. Right. Okay, um, I'll just park that guy. And onward. Actually, have been wrong about uh, how long, how many parts would be needed to uh, finish this out. Um, and we're uh, actually uh, not that far off of the uh, final uh, uh, cultural uh, uh, victory, I think. Ah, here we go do our concert tour. We're now influential with the Aztecs. And we'll have two more, I think, when this finishes. There's Poland. Aztecs.
Maya. Okay, so we're uh, making progress there. Um, over here, we built a museum. Okay. We go for a workshop now. It's not going to matter all that much for uh, that particular city. Um, I'm actually going to move this out to my border. Um, right. So let's see here. So Assyria. Um, not quite there. Rome isn't quite there. The Inca aren't quite there. But not far off either. So when I get enough faith accumulated, I'll get another musician. Uh, that'll be uh, 7,500 faith I'll need for that. declare war on Assyria to get a uh, musician in there to put it over the top. Um, <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Declare war, perform a concert tour, and win. Um, I don't know that that's going to happen, but uh, okay. I'm just getting these uh, tiles uh, up to maximum production there. Okay, that was a windmill there, and nothing else really there. Well, might as well build the growth buildings. I have 52 citizens in Seoul real soon now. Yeah, I'm pretty. Sh um, it's pretty definite now. I'm not going to be uh, winning a science victory here. I'm not even going to get the first spaceship part built uh, before the uh, um, cultural victory comes. I can't remember if I disabled cultural victory or not. Actually, okay, that's a. Uh, yeah, it's not going to reach. Uh, Constantinople is 18 gold. Yep, I'll stick with that. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm definitely going to vote against the world ideology. Um, that's something I could try ramming down everyone's throat, a world ideology of freedom. But... Uh, it's not necessary to do that, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, no, no point going to war at this point in the game. Okay, so that's a cargo ship to restart. Um, that's a tank. So I'll go ahead and park that somewhere. That seems a reasonable spot. 
I've got a battleship there, which I'm going to go and park down here. And I'm going to build a archaeologist here. And here, um, I'm going to build the growth building. Um, right. Uh, I'm not there yet for faith for a musician. I think I'll end up cutting the part uh, probably, oh, it's going to be just before the victory. I might end up just running this part long and run out the uh, the uh, game, actually. Um, that may be the uh, thing to do. Well, let's see. Uh, victory progress. Domination. No. Science. No. Cultural. Yeah, Japan's out of the game, so they were eliminated. Right. Yeah, I disabled time victory just in case. Um, as I've had, uh, if you get a bad starting lie, uh, I've had the uh, turn counter run out before you could actually get your... Uh, um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, before you actually manage to get your uh, science and culture up and tourism up to a usable point. I may have to go ahead and get some great people um, uh, uh, to uh, create uh, uh, works of great works. Um, but certainly archaeologists going after these things will, uh, will help as well. Yeah, because there's a few out here that, that I could go for. keep on trucking here. Uh, there's going to be the vote in the uh, United Nations in a couple of turns, so we'll uh, deal with that. Uh, oh, here's that exclave thing again. <laughs> it's kind of uh, uh, fun uh, that, you, that that happens. Um, right. Uh, and you know what? That's the last... Uh, worker. Uh, I'm going to go over here and just, uh, you know, for fun, extend the rail network across. Okay, park that guy. And we'll go ahead and see what the vote's all about. See, something I can do is uh, get a huge pile of gold in reserve and say the turn before the leader vote bribe every city-state I can find. Um, okay, so we'll vote here. Nay, 22. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that vote that down. Yeah, I'll split it that way. This will almost certainly mean that this doesn't pass. Um, A 
actually there's 34 unaccounted for so I just need to vote with 35 of those And that will guarantee that fails. Okay, no, no, it's not 35 I need there. So there's 22 nay. 34 less 22 is 12. So I only need to vote 12 there. So I'm actually going to do that. Whoops. That should pretty much guarantee this passes too. Because if 22 are going nay, there can only be, yeah, we'll do it that way. See, that's the thing, when you control 39 plus delegates, uh, you can uh, make a pretty substantial uh, uh, set of decisions there. Maybe one of these games I'll try playing Venice. Do the uh, do a single city uh, challenge. Yeah, what have we built up here? Uh, windmill. Okay, build that. That was passed. That was not passed. That's good. Um, how is this coming along? 19 turns for Inca. Okay, I don't quite have enough for... Uh, I think 7500 is the next uh, uh, um, great musician I can buy. I think I'll be able to uh, uh, buy the world, uh, buy the United Nations uh, in the next leader vote, worst case. So that would get me a uh, diplomatic victory. Um, whoops. Uh, right, uh, World Congress. So you need 47 delegates to win world leader. Uh, I currently have 39. Uh, if I get up to that 47 number, these guys will actually start fighting for uh, city-state allies to prevent it. Uh, I've actually had that happen before, where I was two delegates short, and uh, I just couldn't bribe, like, keep hold of the uh, city-states. Oh, we've been denounced. That's probably because we didn't support their proposal and we specifically arranged for it to fail. Okay, satellites comes next turn. Um, but I'm going to... Do I, can I, a uh, great musician, yes. No way to make that work, huh? Discuss. Let's see if they'll do... Okay, I didn't figure they would. So 
I'm not going to be able to send my musician into there. But I can go ahead and send my musician into any civilization now. Okay, now we can see the whole map. What's up here? Ah, right. Um, right, okay. Uh, that was a harbor. And then the seaport. And we have a unit needing orders here. That's the uh, worker. So I'm going to actually start working on that now. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, Re-up that. Right, okay. Okay, one couple more turns here and I think I will cut the part. Uh, simply because it looks like I'm not going to uh, make it to the... Uh, end game quite as quickly as it looked for a little while ago. If I could get that uh, that um, uh, open borders with uh, Assyria it wouldn't have been a problem but since I can't um, yeah I've got lots of gold so we already knew that. There's an archaeologist so I'll send him out. And you know what? Ooh, Hubble Space Telescope. Two free great scientists. Right. I'm going to build an archaeologist. Okay, six turns for Apollo program. We finished the workshop there. Yeah, we'll go with a stable. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Oh yes, the bragging. Oh my, a new unit. Okay, cargo ship. Okay, redo that one. Right. And we'll send it up there just to see. Make a dig there. 
Uh, we built a factory there. Wild. Uh, a museum seems like a good idea. for the uh, growth buildings. Where's the... Uh, ah. I'll actually play it out to where the uh, uh, musician arrives. Then we'll see where it stands. Uh, if it looks close, I'll just make this part extra long and uh, finish out the game. Okay, cargo ship. Re up that. Uh, we built a research lab there. Um, right. Yeah, we'll build some support stuff there and uh, right that. This turn will plant the musician. Ah, we have a hospital there. Build the medical lab. Build a solar plant there, build the hospital, and there we go. We'll do our concert tour, and uh, see where that got us. Okay, we're eight turns off of Rome. Yeah, so we're going to have to increase our tourism. Good. Uh, definitely uh, will end the part here. Okay, so that's the end of part 17. Uh, if you've watched this long, thanks for watching. I'll see you all back for part 18.